Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back for the second show today. Um, and this is going to be the last one of the week. Like I told y'all, I'm going out of town. I'm going to be gone all week in uh, Belize with my family, having a nice little family vacation. Um, so I will be available. You can reach me on Patreon. If you want to reach me on Patreon, join the Patreon. It's just $5 a month. I'm still going to be giving out the lock of the week. And... Um, I'm going to be giving out the lock of the week, and you know, if you guys want me to handicap anything, have any questions, let me know. Reach out to me on the Patreon. It's the best way to reach out to me. It's just $5 a month to get the lock of the week. You can ask me anything. Ask me handicap any fight. Get a free T-shirt. It's just $5 a month, and it helps me uh, you know, keep the channel going full time. You know, I put probably five or six hours into each video. I've been doing this all day. Um, watch some fights, um, breaking them down, taking notes, and then recording the show and uploading it and, and, and all that. Uh, it's just $5 a month. To help keep it going. Um, we're going to get into Luis Alberto Lopez and Rhea Abe. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, Luis Alberto Lopez is a guy that I've been high on. He's had su such a career from upsetting Ray Jimenez out of nowhere in 2019 on a Roy Jones Jr. card where he was supposed to be an opponent to become a world champion and then defending that belt multiple times now. Uh, he's bordering. He's becoming close to a pound-for-pound -pound guy. This fight's not going to help him get there at all because it's a bay, and I don't think he's very good showing my hands here. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Like I said, join the Patreon. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. The Boxing Book, it comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. I don't gamble, but if you guys do... I uh, use DraftKings. You can't even use DraftKings to Texas because I don't gamble, but I'm going to show you how to consistently make money and, and bring down the house. DraftKings gives pretty fair odds, and um, you know, it's user-friendly. It's, it's easy to use. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, all right. It's late here. I've been doing this a lot today. My brain's starting to go. Uh, Luis Alberto Lopez. Uh, he's wild, unorthodox. But he does things subtly well. Like he can slip shots, he can pick shots off, he can catch and shoot, he can do some things. Like he's an interesting guy. You know, he, he scores with his jab, he picks off shots. He because uh, he looks so unorthodox and bad, right? Like at first sight. But then you like you see he's actually doing things that, that are effective. You know, he jumps in with shots, he's got good power, he's strong as hell. He can block, he can make you miss. Make you miss. He can slip shots a little bit. He throws everything hard. He throws everything wide, hard. He winds up. Like I said, he does a lot of things wrong. But he keeps punching, and he's just relentless. And he's, he's subtly doing things pretty well. Like, to me, there's some comparison to him, like, to Carl Frotz. Like, you look at Carl Frotz, like, oh, this guy sucks. No, actually, he's really good. And it's the relentlessness on top of that. It's, it's the good power. It's the really good power and the granite chin. And you put all these things together, it's like, okay, he starts beating guys that look better than him. And that's kind of what I see in Luis Alberto Lopez. Really crisp rear uppercut. I think his rear uppercut uh, is probably his best shot. I mean, he's a whirlwind of punches. He fires things from all different angles. He's a great volume guy. Throws in volume. He keeps you uncomfortable. He, he takes What he does is he, he takes you from being an offensive fighter to defensive. And you can't get comfortable with him because he's throwing these daggers at you from a barrage of angles you don't see them coming and there's from such bizarre angles that you just become defensive so he's really really good at making you fight his fight and, and making you think and, and make giving you different looks and making you uncomfortable and then like i said suddenly you get him in a role he just starts making you miss and it's like and he's jabbing you and he's scoring with his jab he's like how is he doing this but he, he's able to do it and he's been able to do it at a higher and higher level and now he's doing it at, at the highest level, and really, it's going to be tough to beat. Like, you, you start looking at the division, the featherweight division. I'm not saying he's the best guy in the division, but this guy's good, man. Brandon Figueroa and Luis Alberto Lopez is a firefight. Um, all right, let, let's get into... Uh, Abe, long, rangy, wide base. I'm not a fan. Uh, he, he wants to be on the outside. He, he's pretty good at creating distance, 
but he faints from the outside, like from way too far outside. And then he throws these shots and they come up short consistently. And this guy's easy to counter. He also comes in wild on wing shots. I think he's going to jump into something or, or he's going to drop his hands and Lopez is going to, going to tag him. I, I, I like Lopez to beat him up. I think Lopez probably stops him. I don't see this guy. I know he beat Kiko Martinez. And before that, he beat an undefeated prospect. I'm going to butcher that name too. These Japanese names are giving me a hard time. The, the Jinky Maida. Was that his name? I think so. Another Japanese fighter who's lost since. But these are the wins that, that put him in this position. He likes to be off the back foot. He can make you miss too. He's, he's pretty good at, at, at controlling this, at creating distance, I should say. Get sloppy, but he's got good timing. He's got good counter shots. He throws his little, he's a southpaw. He throws his little jab, left hand, jab, left hand. And, and they're pretty good. They're pretty crisp. They're pretty clean. He doesn't have any power to speak of. This guy's got knockouts. I'm not exactly sure how he gets him. He doesn't look for him. He doesn't score well. Let me take a look at something real quick on his, on his resume. He got a stop it's back in uh, 2021, and then it's been a while. Yeah. Then before that, it, it, it's club-level fighters that she stopped. He's not a puncher. He's not He's not going to get a stoppage. You know, the question is, does he get stopped? He's easy to hit. If you can get in and in, in close the range on him, he's easy to hit. And, and, and how unorthodox and how awkward – Lopez is, he's going to be able to get inside and score on him. He's, he's not a, a difficult guy to hit. He lunges in, he's wide open. So, I mean, he, there's just so many flaws in, in, in his game. And fundamentally, he's not good. He's not what you expect from a typical Japanese fighter. Like I said, he gets sloppy, lunges, drops his hands. I, I think he ultimately gets stopped. But let's take a look at the book. Let's show you. How we're gonna make money on this? Uh, you guys want to update? Join the Patreon, and when they add the props, I'll let you know. But right now, they just have the fight line, the uh, money line. Money line. He's minus eight hundred. I think that's fair. I don't really think Abe should be getting a title shot. I don't think he's that caliber of fighter. I think Luis Alberto Lopez is really good. So I'm gonna make this a two times bet. A two times bet only makes you a two hundred dollar bet only makes you twenty five bucks. The, the, the line's that wide. It's eight hundred. This is probably good to, to use in a parlay as well. I'll probably give you guys a parlay here. I'm really there's a lot of fights I'm interested in. Uh, you know, I got to do this one. It's, it's a world title fight. It's the co-main on the biggest card. I think it, which one's the main and which one's the co-main it doesn't matter. But this, I, I think Lopez probably stops him too. I, I would probably feel comfortable taking him by stoppage. But let's just lock in the money here. Two times bet. Easy money. Take the $25 on the $200 bet. Lock in. Move to something else. I wish the odds were a little better, but I actually think these odds are reasonable. I don't think this is ultimately competitive. I don't really see Abe having a path to victory, and I think he probably gets stopped. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. Remember, this is going to be my last show of the week. So if you're watching this, there's nothing until next week. I'm going to be out of town. My family in Belize, but I'll have my phone. I'm going to be able to respond to Patreon and um, things like that. So if you have any questions, join the Patreon. You'll get the Lock of the Week. You'll make a ton of money on the Lock of the Week. And um, you can still ask me to handicap or break anything down through the Patreon. The link is in the description. Join the Patreon. Like, subscribe. Follow me all forms. It is February 25th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you.